Today on Gearbox, we're looking at a couple of new additions to the HelixNet line from Clearcom. Mitch from Jans. How are you doing? Join us and talk to us about the HKV2X and the HRM4X. That's right. So these are two new family members for the HelixNet range. And this essentially has extended out the range from being your standard master station belt pack relationship to a fully fledged as if it was an analog party line system but digital di digital networked system okay so obviously being digital we've got some nice benefits in that we've got all the channels routing everywhere and we can choose what we want to pick up on each belt pack that's right we can run up to 12 channels depending on how many bases we add into the system up to three bases that's correct yes um and with the belt packs, uh, we've been using, obviously, Powerline, which is Ethernet and power over standard mic cable to hook That's those correct. up. But these guys have a couple of new options for powering. Yeah, so these guys have a couple of new options, as you've said. And this actually makes it a lot easier for people to deploy, whether it's in production, so portable production systems, or with that, throughout a venue. This enables you to do such things as PoE powering with your Ethernet data, or... Being able to have standard Ethernet and powering it off a plug pack, a DC plug pack, which it actually comes with. Okay, so essentially if you've already got building infrastructure or you've got Ethernet infrastructure in your building, uh, regardless of whether it does or doesn't have power over Ethernet enabled on it, you can then use that to deploy comms. That's right. In various parts of your facility. That's exactly right. And you can do that so you can have these completely remotely remote from the actual master station. But as long as they're on that Ethernet infrastructure, you're good to go. Okay, cool. Now, obviously, the HRM4X is a four display device, and that lets you yes. pick up four of the party lines simultaneously. That's right. Uh, perhaps less obvious is the fact that so does the HKB2X. It's only got two displays. How does that work? Yeah, so this is, again, something that's a departure from traditional analog party line. So standard analog party line systems, you would usually have to cable both channels to a, a squawk box or a KB box. Mm -hmm. But because we're using Ethernet technology now, we one can cable. have one cable, allowing us to have four channels or up to eight, tw uh, eight channels, and essentially a whole bunch of program material come to these devices. The way to do this is you basically have a shift page, so you'll have your, your first two that you could be talking and listening on. Press your shift button, and all of a sudden there's your next two. And it actually shows you in a display below there what your, your reverse or your shift pages have on them. And of course you can name all your channels uh, back on the master station. That's you don't right. need a computer to set it up or anything. No, not at all. always been quite appealing about this. Yes. Um, now, also quite appealing is that t uh, typically if you want inter to interface your party line system to, say, two-way, yep. uh, you need um, some duplex stuff going on and you need all sorts of fancy gating and stuff and weird stuff. But this can work as a two-way... Uh, sorry, two... Oh, a digital party line to four wire interface. That's correct. Yes, yeah, so has GPIs and everything. That's right. So traditionally, you'd have to use a, a an out of the box solution to be able to to a bring world, into a us. world of nightmarish crap. I believe is that's, the, the term that's you're right. For. Yeah, but with the HRM, it actually gives you the ability to have a D9 connector, which gives you a four wire output and a four wire input, plus some GPIO on board, so you can trigger your push to talk relays. So so now all you need to use is a connector. <laughs> That's right. That's and it makes it a lot easier. A lot cool. easier. Okay. Little OLED displays glow in the dark, all very nice. They sound good. You can use your obviously your stick mic or stalk mic, whatever yes, you want to call it. Correct. Internal Who's speaker next? sounds yeah. good. Um, and yeah, so I think good little addition to the Clearcom line there. Yeah, definitely. And and I think, you know, the the only way that HelixNet is going in terms of its product roadmap is up. Uh, and they are they do have a lot of nice stuff coming in the future. Cool. Can't wait.